guys welcome back to black tea it's your girl ebony okay you guys so before we get into the mess i actually want to talk about new music and you guys know i'm always looking for new songs to add to my playlist now the first person i want to give a shout out to is none other than the singer isla for those of you guys who don't know isla is like a mix between r&b and pop now one of my favorite songs in isla's catalog is actually juice but she did release a new song called sad b bad b now this song is giving me nothing but life it reminds me of like a beyonce girl anthem it is great visuals there's some choreo and i hope you guys go check her out and let her know that black tea blog sent you now the next person i want to give a shout out to is none other than ming you guys probably know ming as Nicki minaj's little sister now she actually has two demos out right now one of her new songs i actually will be featuring on my video today during my end card so i want you guys to please go and support ming she is doing her thing her next song will also be played on my other video that i do during my end card so you guys can get a feel of what she is coming with but if this is really what she's coming with i'm telling you guys right now ming is coming to do her dang thing so i will be leaving um a small demo at the end of this video make sure to check her out go follow her on instagram and tell both women that black tea blog sent you now let's get into the drama because baby y'all know it's a mess now the first topic i want to discuss is none other than miss adele y'all know i love me some adele but i did let you guys know during our ig live sip and spit that adele actually spent her 34 Fourth birthday alone while her boyfriend Rich Paul went to go hang out with LeBron James and some IG thoughts allegedly and according to page six. Now even though Adele did spend her birthday alone she wanted to make it clear today that not only did her and Rich Paul now move in together but she wants to make sure people know they are still going strong. Chill talk about a mess. Now this is what Adele had to say time flies now she showed a bunch of pictures of her and rich paul she also showed them in more happier times and it does seem they have a huge home together now like i said rich paul was allegedly spending her birthday with lebron james he was actually spotted by several paparazzi and also page six laughing it up having himself a good old time with lebron james while adele was at home and she actually posted posted pictures of her birthday and she was by herself and she looked like she had been through the ringer allegedly in my opinion you know I love me some Adele I love Adele I think Adele is amazing I just feel really bad for her because I'm like baby you don't deserve this but at the same time who am I to say what her relationship really is like we're pretty much just going off of what we know and also some of these insiders so who knows maybe their relationship is getting better you guys are remember that Adele actually had to cancel a bunch of shows because of her fight with Rich Paul and then breaking up and then he was spotted again with some more thoughts after they broke up so this is a hot mess at the end of the day if Adele loves it then I guess we all have to support her but at the same time it's like Adele when is this going to end like find somebody like you allegedly now the next topic I do want to discuss is none other than Miss Cardi be not only shading allegedly me mob radio and impressive channel but also her friend it's ken barbie actually setting her up to look like she was involved in some not so nice things talk about a mess now it all started when it's ken barbie took to twitter to post this the way a lot of these youtubers gaslight and use their platforms to peddle narratives against cardi is insane the same behaviors they pretend are offensive they'll spin it in a positive if it's their fave that's why it's ken barbie is entering the chat 
Now, what's so funny about this is that Kim Barbie has been on YouTube before and from the looks of it, it failed because I think he only had about 100 views. With that being said, Mob Radio actually got a screenshot of Cardi B liking this tweet. Now, inside the tweet, you see videos from Impressive Channel, Black Tea Blog, and Mob Radio. The funny part about this is that Kim Barbie is always coming, in my opinion, for Black women. There are so many male blogs that drag Cardi B for filth. They don't even say any of the stuff that we say. They are even worse and nobody mentions them. She's always coming for the black women ran blogs and I think it's quite interesting that she liked this tweet. Now this is alleged because it does seem that Cardi unliked the tweet but this was a little bit of shade and it had a lot of people wondering why she does not address any of the white media. She's always coming for black blogs and in my opinion. Now, after this happened, this is where we saw Cardi B and Offset go out for a night out just to have some good time, and Cardi B was hosting. You know that Cardi B does do hosting. She's been doing hosting way before she was really well known, and unfortunately, the DJ mistook her for Nicki Minaj. But I also have someone who was present who gave me a little bit more tea. Check out this video. So as you see in the beginning, Cardi B was pretty much vibing to Nicki Minaj's song, Do We Have a Problem? However, the DJ then said, out of nowhere, we've got Nicki Minaj in the building. And this is where you saw Offset look at Cardi B like, did this person really just say that? Like, they were both obviously annoyed. Now after that happened, this is where we saw a video of Cardi B trying to say that, who's in the building? She then says, we want all the stuff smoke and people feel like she was insinuating that she wants all the smoke with Nicki Minaj allegedly. After this Cardi B throws the microphone like literally throws it because she's obviously annoyed and let's just say all hell broke loose after that. Check this out. Oh, hold on. What the So as you see, Cardi B, in her defense, she did handle it pretty well. She could have handled it a lot worse, but she did handle it pretty well. Now, to be honest, I have somebody who was actually present at the club. Somebody told me that this DJ was actually antagonizing Cardi B. For example, they said that he was basically putting out gang names and things that Cardi B does not associate with, and he was being shady to Cardi B throughout the entire night, allegedly, okay? This is all alleged. Now, after all of this went down, and of course, Cardi B is trending for vibing to Nicki Minaj and also looking a bit pressed that Nicki Minaj was playing, this is where we saw her blogger friend, Ken Barbie, come out to not only say that the DJ ended up getting beat up, but then Cardi B saying, go tell your hood that. On top of that, the blogger backtracking saying, oh, I didn't mean Cardi B was involved, but you guys are going to twist it anyway. Now, isn't Cardi B currently inside of a criminal case in regards to having somebody at a club allegedly beat up? Allegedly? Chill. Now, this is what they had to say on Twitter. Word on the street is that DJ Will got beat up at the club last night after playing games and attempting to set Cardi B up playing Nicki Minaj songs and insinuating she was in the building while talking crazy on the mic. He tried to set Cardi B up but saw what was really up. Cardi B says, run to your hood and tell that. Cardi B then deletes the actual tweet where she says, run to your hood and tell that. Kim Barbie then says, I know someone in New York that they got the video. Hold on, because y'all know them people will try to twist words. The point of that tweet was that the DJ was being messy all night, claiming Mac Ballas was in the building 
etc. Plenty of people peeped what was going on. Cardi was literally minding her business the entire night. Should we go live to unpack the full story? Because some of y'all are playing on my top and I don't like that. You can personally believe whatever you want, but purposely throwing out alternative facts while peddling yourself as a news source is disgusting. Y'all are gross. Now, several people are also reacting to this on social media. One Instagrammer saying this, it's Offset. Who the F in the building? Why Offset took his glasses off and started looking around? I'm crying. I can't take her or Nikki serious. All she need is Coronas and she set for the night. Offset was like, who? I heard that 100. That DJ was wrong AF. Now look you guys, in my personal opinion, the DJ was being very messy, but there are a lot of people who do mistake Cardi B for Nicki Minaj. And I honestly feel like Cardi B does look very similar, in my opinion, to Nicki Minaj. Even though Cardi B has admitted to having, you know, surgeries, she does resemble Nicki, in my opinion, okay? Nothing wrong with that. Nicki is a beautiful woman. On top of that, I also think, again, the DJ knew what he was doing in a sense but I also feel like this blogger really set her up and although he may have meant something else social media is taking it as if Cardi B because she was mistaken for Nicki Minaj is having people beat up allegedly because she is so pressed over Nicki okay that's what people are saying online and to be quite honest do I think Cardi B is pressed I do. I feel like she is pressed over Nikki. I feel like both of them are at a point where they just don't like each other and that's okay. And I honestly do be feeling like some of these men be the messiest people on the planet. Like they be so messy because they knew that if they mentioned Nikki, that was going to get under Cardi's skin. And a lot of times people do want to be getting a reaction out of her. Now, I don't know if she had anything to do with getting that man beat up. But if her blogger friend, somebody who she is associated with, is saying that this person got beat up, I mean, any reasonable person would believe that he was beat up for playing Nikki while Cardi was there. So in turn, Cardi B is associated with that situation, allegedly, in my opinion. This is not a fact. This is all speculation based on what we see online. And I want to hear from you guys down below. What do you think about these topics? How do you feel about Adele? What are your thoughts about Cardi B? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel give this video a big thumbs up i love you guys to the moon and back and you already know we'll chop it up down below bye guys